I would like to work with inner city youth uh, after college, and um, I knew I don't. I knew that I didn't have the experience because I'm not an inner city child, and I knew I needed the experience so I could relate better. So um, I did a little research and uh, asked a couple people, and they suggested the Boys and Girls Club would give me more of an insight on different uh, backgrounds of different types of children. Athletes are sometimes misconstrued. Uh, our motives are misconstrued to what we truthfully want to do and people all, well some people always think that we're only about basketball so I just want to reach the kids and tell them like you don't have to be afraid to be good at something but work hard at something else like your education is important. Um, reaching out to other kids, reaching out to the community, th those things are important to, to have as an aspect of your game because the more people you can reach, the more people you'll bring out to the games to have on your side as a support system. I'm, I'm at the one off Fire Tower right now, so uh, I think it's the Jack Menjis unit. And uh, now that the season kicked off, I don't go as often, but um, during the summer and off season, uh, I'm there pretty much every day. I'm considered to be one of the leaders uh, there. Like they don't call them like counselors, so I'm more of a leader there. Um, I work with mainly the teens, but like every so often I go down and play basketball with like all the age groups. I guess you can say just so they can have that experience. I'm pretty close with all of my kids because like, I mean, I'm only 21, but like since I work with the teens, they're not far behind me in age. So like, I feel like they think it's easier to come talk to me. So some of their stories are interesting because I kind of ask myself like, what would I do in this situation? And it kind of opens my eyes to a broader situation of life versus having like tunnel vision. I try to tell my kids, give your, give your all every chance you get. Even if we are just shooting around, like you try to be 1% better every time you touch the ball. And uh, I think when I start telling them that, I started having that mindset myself. Like every time I touch the ball, Gabby, like try to at least gain something, get 1% better. So you can say you at least didn't waste your time. So the ultimate goal is to, I guess, reach at least one child with a positive or well, with something positive or an open heart and embrace them every change you can.